Hey there YouTube lovers, my name is BB8 and today I am going to discuss the future of Mario RPGs. I was triggered to talk about it with the announcement of Mario and Luigi Brothers. And it would be interesting to talk about what the future of Mario RPGs could look like. Because in in like recent years, up until last year, I have been a bit mixed with Mario RPGs. Because I did think Kingdom Battle and Sparks of Hope from the Mario Plus Rabbit series were good, but everything else was either bad, mid, or just okay. So, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Starting off with the history of Mario RPGs. The first ever Mario RPG was released in 1996, titled Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. The collaboration between Nintendo and Square Enix, at the time called Squaresoft, became a fan favourite thanks to its story and likeable characters such as Mallow and Gina. The gameplay may be simple, but it stayed true to the Mario franchise by its abilities. Unfortunately, the original Legend of the Seven Stars never released outside of North America and Japan, meaning the only way to experience it in Europe was through the Wii U Virtual Console or the SNES Classic Mini, which released in 2017. And while it is a shame we never got a continuation to Legend of the Seven Stars. The 2023 remake was the closest we're gonna get to Geno returning in a game. Even though Mario RPG never expanded into a franchise, a new Mario RPG franchise in the form of Paper Mario made its debut in 2000. It's known for having an unusual art style and comedic moments. The gameplay was different to Legend of the Seven Stars, but the partner system added to the puzzle design in the overworld. The Paper Mario series expanded in 2004 with the Thousand Year Door on the GameCube, which is a masterpiece. And Super Paper Mario, while not on the heights of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, I still find it enjoyable. But Sticker Star and Color Splash, on the other hand, were not good. The Origami King was okay though, but the Thousand Year Door remake was the game that redeemed the Paper Mario series. And, and then, 2003 introduced Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga on the Game Boy Advance. This new Mario RPG series featured a combat system which was different each installment, such as Partners in Time adding the Baby Bros to the gameplay and Bowser's Inside Story adding Bowser, which made the combat in Mario and Luigi more fun. While Dream Team and Paper Jam weren't good at all, the earlier Mario and Luigi games were fun for having a diverse combat system between installments. There aren't that many other Mario RPGs to talk about outside of these three, since Puzzle and Dragons Super Mario Bros. Edition does have RPG elements in it, but it's more like a puzzle game than a traditional RPG, and I don't know if the Mario Plus Rabbid series counts as a Mario RPG, because it plays out a lot like a strategy game than a traditional RPG. And now, we're moving on to the state of Mario RPGs in recent years, before the release of the 2023 remake of Super Mario RPG. And this is where it started to decline, since unfortunately, the 3DS has not been kind to Mario RPGs. Because titles like Sticker Star have stripped away everything that made Paper Mario enjoyable and replacing it with an inventory based combat system. And this was transferred to Color Splash as well. Not just the gameplay, but the stories and writing didn't work in these games like past Paper Mario games. And even Mario and Luigi's had a hard time on 3DS as well, with Dream Team and Paper Jam 
axing everything great about the other three. And while I didn't play the remakes of Superstar Saga and Bowser's Inside Story, the poor sales of these remakes caused Alpha Dream, the studio behind Mario and Luigi, to shut down. Meaning that Mario and Luigi, as a franchise, would never get another game ever again. Or, so I thought, even if the Mario RPGs of the 2010s weren't that good, with one exception, they haven't really been selling that well either. With Sticker Star selling 2.5 million units, Color Splash didn't even cross 1 million units sold, Dream Team did alright in sales, but Paper Jam and the Mario and Luigi remakes sold poorly, which on the Mario RPG side of the Mario market, it really started to not look good. But in 2023, everything changed with this announcement. This was it. This was the game to revive Mario RPGs. The remake has been positively received, with even a Thousand Year Door remake being greenlit for a 2024 release. Which now brings us to today, where we've just had two peak Mario RPG remakes with the announcement of Mario and Luigi Brothership, which may not look the part for the certified gold club so far, but does look good. And all three Mario RPG franchises have made their comeback, but we'll have to wait and see how Mario and Luigi Brothership turns out. Future Mario RPGs could return to form after what the 2010s did to them, but by bringing back the gameplay mechanics, that made the older Mario RPGs so loved, and even building on them to make them better. The storytelling to be on the level of the Thousand Year Door, and bring in some new characters that are memorable and not forgettable, like in the recent Mario RPGs. And I think if all of them can be done, the future of Mario RPGs could actually be good. And now, what Mario RPGs do I think will release in the next 10 years? Well, here are my predictions for what the next 10 years of Mario RPGs could look like. I don't see any Mario RPGs happening in 2025 outside of Nintendo Switch Online. Even though 2025 is due to be the 40th anniversary of Mario, I don't think we'll get anything in the RPG department, but I do think we will get a 1 to 2 per year. But bear in mind, all of them are from different studios, so there's no pressure going on here. In 2026, I think we will get Super Mario RPG 2 from Square Enix, acting as a direct sequel to Legend of the Seven Stars for a May 2026 release and a remake of Mario and Luigi Partners in Time with an extra campaign titled The Rise of Fawful, which would act as a, a Bowser's Inside Story prequel for a November 2026 release. In 2027, I think we will get Mario plus Rabbids 3 from Ubisoft for an August of 2027 release and a Mario RPG spin-off game, or DLC, for Super Mario RPG 2, focusing on Geno from Square Enix for a November of 2027 release. The only other thing I would see happening in 2027 is a Super Paper Mario Shadow Drop remaster for the 20th anniversary of Super Paper Mario. In 2028, I think we will get the seventh installment of the Mario and Luigi series titled 
Mario and Luigi Wacky Rivals, which would be like Partners in Time and Bowser's Inside Story in terms of the gameplay with the addition of Wario and Waluigi to the team, and the remake of Paper Mario 64, which would be developed by Intelligent Systems who developed the remake of The Thousand Year Door and would include an extra campaign focusing on Vivian. In 2029, I think we will get Super Mario RPG 3, which would be the final installment of the Super Mario RPG from Square Enix. And, and in addition to that, the start of a new Mario RPG series. But this one is a Bowser spin-off. And I think a Bowser RPG could be a monster catcher. Where his minions are brainwashed by this villain and he has to defeat them to recruit them, which he can use in battle. The combat system of Bowser's Inside Story can be used as a base for this new Bowser RPG game, which would be developed by the new Mario and Luigi team. 2030 and 2031 would be break years for Mario RPGs, but 2032 would bring us the fourth installment of the Paper Mario series. A sequel to Super Paper Mario, which would play out like Paper Mario 64 and The Thousand Year Door. A return to form like Sticker Star never existed. For real, I don't consider Sticker Star canon, so 2032 could actually give, it, give us something new to the Paper Mario canon. I think we will get 9 Mario RPGs in the next 10 years, with 2 of them being remakes. We have had 9 including remakes since 2014, so 9 ignoring Mario and Luigi Brothership from now until 2034 could seem like a fair amount, as long as the quality is good. So guys, what did you think of my video talking about the future of Mario RPGs? And I want to hear from you. What do you think the future of Mario RPGs could look like? So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notification bell on, so you don't miss another video like this one. And I will see you all in a future video. BB8, out.